Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Greg DeGroat, and I am a freelance graphic designer slash illustrator. Lately, I have been truly bitten by the watercolor bug. I could always use watercolors, but notice there are a lot of people who, in my opinion, use them more effectively than I did. So what I did was what anybody who truly wants to inform themselves in the 21st century does. I watch YouTube videos. <laughs> and so starting about five years ago, I started watching demos from world-class professionals like Alvaro Cassignette and Joseph Zbukvik. European painters and uh, a lot of other people from all over the globe and I must have watched over a hundred demos and I stole I mean uh, borrowed 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 <laughs> as many tips tricks and techniques as I could from them my goal was not to be another them but to incorporate the best of them and hopefully become the best me that I could be as a watercolors and you may ask why watercolors because I tried oils acrylics and other mediums but I found watercolor the hardest the least forgiving and I wanted that smoke because I'm just that kind of guy but anyway I painted a lot which um, most of them literally sickened me and found their way into the purgatory that is the wastebasket before their final and well-deserved hellish destination of wherever the trash truck, uh, trash truck de de delivered their evil, evil selves. But after a while, I started to find my voice again. I started to find my voice, and, 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 and I gained some confidence. And now I feel the need to try to do some decent watercolor paintings before I die. <laughs> Notice how fast I'm painting, y'all. This took practice. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is obviously time-lapsed. I don't have the last three hours of doing this because I had to go save a baby. Like I saw outside in my window was, was up a tree and a mountain lion was trying to get it and I ran out and saved the baby. And that's why I didn't do the last three hours. Or it could have been that I just forgot to turn the camera on, but I'll let you guys decide whether I'm telling the truth. But this is what I'm doing. I'm filling in shapes. I just got done painting a balloon I'm just blocking in I mean all these I'm looking at my reference photo but I don't want to copy the photo exactly I want to make a painting so that's where the poetry comes in it's not trying to paint it exactly there's a lot of details that I'm leaving out um, they're just shapes y'all they're just shapes you just look at them as shapes when you do a watercolor painting there comes a time when you've got to hit it hard with the with the watercolors, like with, with the, the values, you have to pay attention to your values. You've got to um, emphasize what you want emphasize. I'm doing the background now. I'm, I'm just indicating some buildings back there, some structures, but I'm pushing them back a little bit because they're in the distance and the atmosphere will gray them just about uh, uh, gray them back just a little bit depending on how far back they are I'm adding some color to them that is not necessarily in the photograph I'm just kinda doing my thing now you'll notice the water on the right uh, a lot of people would freak out doing a watercolor because it's oh no 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 because that's, that doesn't look like the water is right um, watching other watercolorists do this they didn't worry about stuff like that. They because the watercolor is although it's difficult, but its bark is worse than its bite. It wants to be birthed. It wants you to win. It's going to paint itself. That's the best way. Now, look, this part that I'm working there, that left part there with just those scratches, like that was the part I was most concerned with because I don't know what in the world that is. It's just background gibberish. And I have to figure out a way to make it work. And I just had faith that it would it would happen. But so, um, yeah, we're coming to the end of this. This thing is only about five minutes long. And like I said, I've missed the last three hours. But this was the final result. This was the final result. 